What's up guys, my name is ESO and welcome to the channel. In this video, I'm going to be showing you an easier way to get to the secret room in Fallout 4. It takes literally no effort compared to the original method. So to begin, we must of course start from Diamond City, which is here on the map. So we're going to be starting from the entrance to Diamond City, which is of course just here. From the entrance, you'll want to go find this turret and go right down this street here. You'll just see some scaffolding in the distance. So come down here and we'll be able to climb up this scaffolding. So just come up the scaffolding here, make sure you take this guy's lunchbox. He's dead, he does not need that food anymore. And there's also some buff tats here, or oh, radex I mean, to pick up, so make sure you grab that too. After you're done grabbing this, get back to the scaffolding and continue on upwards. As you can see, there's a staircase. We're going to follow this upstairs. But don't open the door because it's booby trapped. So just disarm that mine, open the door, and then disarm this makeshift bomb here. And then we can jump across here and there's actually an explosives box for us to take as well. Now a lot of people say you should jump from here, but actually don't do that because it makes it a lot harder. And why would we want to make it hard for ourselves? To go up to the top floor and then, oh, watch out for this trip mine, I almost stepped on it then. Disarm the trip mine. And you can actually get a shotgun here, I think it's a double barreled shotgun. There we go. And there's also some shotgun shells, so if you're a low level, easy shotgun. Right. If we look behind us, we'll actually see that there's a gap in the building here. What we can do is just jump on the edge here. Now, very simply, so you may want to save the game just to make sure if you do fall off, you can just reload the save or you can use a quick save if you like as well. So what we're aiming for is the gap on that pile of rubble just there. Press the sprint button down quickly and then jump at the same time. Okay, there we go. Okay, so what we're going to do now, a lot of guides ask, tell you to sort of climb up this awkward ledge here. Instead of doing that, what we're going to do is stand on this blue container at the end here. Okay, so now get your Jess out. We're going to have to take this drug. If you don't have it, then you can go and get it in Diamond City. Just go to the marketplace in Diamond City, then go right, and you'll find this merchant here, and he sells you lots of drugs. So he should usually stock Jet, and you can just buy that for a few caps. So once you have it, just come back here, take one of your jets, and then we can run to the end, jump sort of sideways at an angle, and then if we run forward here, it looks like you can't make it up, but you can just jump and then press sort of left at the same time. Then sort of keep jumping once you're in this spot and you'll get past this buggy area here. Uh, now we're gonna walk over here and we're going to jump on this ledge over to here. And that is it. As simple as that. And if you if your uh, jet runs out before you get to this point, you can actually make this jump without it. Just save before you try and make the jump, obviously. Right, so after the jets run out, we can now find the secret room. And ha! Huh, there's a welcome mat here. It's almost like they wanted us to find this location. So we're just going to jump over this fence to get inside. And it doesn't look like much, but it is quite an interesting location. Obviously, they kind of expected that you would get up here using power armor because there's obviously a power armor station here. And we've also got a bed, so maybe they're thinking you can sleep here as well. It's kind of a little base actually. And the most important thing I want to show you is this mini nuke. So make sure you grab that because that's like probably the most interesting thing in this location to be honest. There's nothing else of really any mega value whatsoever here though there it is worth checking this chest of drawers over here you get some ammo from there usually but i mean one of the best things about this location is that you can build here if you download the um, build anywhere mod from the fallout 4 nexus or even the console mod version which allows you to build in this location so you can turn it into a miniature settlement and i mean who wouldn't want a view like this 
So anyway, we're going to come out of this area for a second. I'm going to show you something else. Over here, we've got... Well, this is actually the inside of Diamond City. It just hasn't loaded yet. It just looks really glitchy and like we're about to fall off the end of the map. If you jump in here, it doesn't make you fall off the map. It just loads you into the entrance of Diamond City. You don't take any full damage or anything. So it's kind of like a shortcut into Diamond City. And now I want to show you something else, because if we run along here, there are a few more hidden gems. Not necessarily anything majorly interesting, but just a few sort of treasures we can find. So the first curiosity is this rather drunk man. He's got some beer bottles and some bourbon. And he's also clutching a teddy bear. And he probably got wrecked by the nuclear blast, to be honest. The comfort of alcohol and a teddy bear. So if we come down here, we can actually sort of jump across this bit rather awkwardly oh there we go and then we're just going to carry along and we will eventually arrive at another curiosity which is a little loot stash here so an explosive box and also a duffel bag which obviously always has that good stuff in and again you can see into diamond city over there <laughs> You can probably jump in from there too, I'm just not going to. Anyway guys, thank you for watching. I'll leave some more interesting hidden locations in the description below for you guys to check out. For me personally, I think the loot in this location is not so great. But if you do have the Build Anywhere mod, or if you want to go and download it, I'm, it will make a pretty awesome player home. I've actually recently posted my own player home in Fallout 4 last week. So make sure you check that out if you haven't already. I'll leave a link to that down in the description below. Once again, thank you for watching, my name is ESO and I will see you, Laura Subscriber, in the next Fallout 4 video.